Hey everyone, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you guys? I hope you're all doing well. For those of you that are new, welcome to the channel. And those that have come back to see me, I'm happy that you're here. All right, so I'm gonna apologize because I have literally had this um, kit for like a month. And I put it in my craft room because I was like, all right, this is gonna be my next in line to unbox. And I totally forgot all about it. And I got all wrapped up in events and traveling and things like that. And yeah, I forgot. And let me try, I'm going to try and raise you guys up a little bit. Try and raise you up just a little bit. So sorry if it's shaky. So I have, this is my second uh, package or second kit I have ordered. This is from Jazz Higgins. And she is an independent artist that lives in Australia. And she produces her own diamond paintings from her own art. So I thought that was really cool. I had purchased a while back and I put the unboxing video for Snow White up in the eye that she had done. And it was really, really cute. And this other one um, I saw and I, I guess I can start unboxing it while I'm talking to you guys. This other one that I saw, and I really liked it, but I was at first like, oh, I don't know, until my good friend Maria, um, she was, she had unboxed it, and she sent pictures, and then I saw, you know, she sent me a lot of pictures of it, and I was really, really excited when I saw it, saw it, and it, and it sold me, so... I got it, and it got here really, really quick, like less than a month from Australia. So the image is Frida Kahlo by Jazz Higgins. And I do wanna give a big shout out to Lindsay because she has really helped me expand and my horizons and my views and stuff on different types of art has really helped um, me become more knowledgeable with like pop surrealism and I know that she absolutely loves pop surrealism so and I love Frida Kahlo so I was like Miranda you need to totally get over the fact that you're on the fence it's Frida you love all things Frida so just get it but like I said once I saw Maria unbox it and she sent me some pictures I was sold and I went ahead and I got it I have totally forgotten the price I do know that shipping was 24 American dollars so Overall, it was like 64, 65 American dollars. It kind of trips you up when you first order it off her site. And like I said, I will link everything below because it comes up as Australian dollars. And at first you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna spend like 75 or 80 dollars on, on a kit, right? But it converts it back or you can just go online and do the conversion. And it'll be a lot easier. So first thing, it comes with this like super cute organza little bag. Inside, um, you have her business card, and hopefully there's not a lot of glare on there. And it gives her uh, social, her website, and other social media handles. You also get this cute little heart pot, so you can put trash or heart wax or what have you in there. You get a little about the artist right here. Jazz Higgins. And it tells a little bit about her. Ooh, I like that bot. I like those skeletons in that bottom one. Have you guys ever seen those? Hold up, you guys. Hold up. All right, I'm back. That was too much glare. I couldn't even see what I was doing. All right, so here we go. Here is about the artist. It tells a little bit about her and things of that, like shows her her artwork and all the things that she offers. But like I said, I have, excuse, sorry, Zeus just walked by. He just bumped my tripod. So I really like that mermaid and those skeletons. Maybe Jazz will make those into a diamond painting. I'm gonna have to go back on and see if there's anything new, but yeah, I really am digging them skulls in that top mermaid. What do you guys think? Next, you get a little uh, little fold-out pamphlet 
of how to, oops, just one side, how to diamond paint with all the different steps and everything. And she has on there, share with me on Instagram by using the hashtag, hashtag Jag Higgins Diamond Painting. So she likes to see your guys' progress, which is totally awesome. I like it when the artists comment or at least like on posts that I have made when I'm diamond painting their artwork. I feel all special. And then you come with your basic toolkit. White boat, little thing of wax, squishy, pen, and the little aluminum tweezers. Basic toolkit. I do wish more people would have the option, um, companies would have the option where you can opt out of the toolkit. I know craftably you can do that. And I think now with um, DIY Moon Shop, you can also opt out. But I do like that a little thumbnail printout of the picture comes with it too. So I'm gonna stick that in here. All right, so here it is. It is poured glue, it is a 40 by 55 round. I also like it because they're not monstrous sizes. Have our drills. And we have our painting. So before I open it, you can see Art by Jazz Higgins up at the top. Here's our thumbnail and our legend. There's also one at the bottom that I will show you in a second. I'm just going to take this off camera. I like the canvas because it's a little bit stiffer, which I do love for... Um, actually working on it, but it does give me a hard time when I'm uh, trying to roll it back. Now our drills, we'll look for those later. That over there. All right. Look at her. Look at her. We have at the bottom, Jazz's website. Poured glue, oh my goodness. Look at her, she's so cute. Can you guys see, let me fix the angle a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna have to raise you guys up, sorry. All right, like at first, like when I first, like I, I love her face, I love her eyebrows. She's got the signature eyebrow right here. Um, if your guys' canvas doesn't f lay flat at first, you can always gently pull back the plastic. And if you see wrinkles, it's just in the plastic. Your kit is still good. And so sometimes it gets like really taut. So that wasn't good. So when you release the plastic, it kind of lets it relax a little bit. And then you can just slowly roll it back down. And as you guys can see, I have not gotten any better at doing that. I love the background and the flowers on top of her eyebrows. She just, and the watermelon. I mean, it's just so amazing. Like, I want to just let a big old air bubble up in there too. One more time, you guys, one more time, bear with me. And if you have to go back and check, normally she, I've noticed because I follow her on Instagram, she will post when there's a new diamond painting. But every so often, um, she'll sneak one in there. So I'm kind of wanting to message her and ask about those other two because I can't stop thinking about that, that little skull couple on the beach. It is so cute. But anyway, focus, right? This drill field is so amazing. And there are 33 colors in here. No ABs. But I don't really think it needs to have any. I kind of like it the way that it is. But here, we'll bring you up to the drill field. And you can see, sorry for the glare, but you can see that it is really, really clear. Her big old eyes. Right? Let me... um. What did I want to do? We can measure. Let's measure. Let's measure. Oh, let me check the sticky. 
It is definitely very, very sticky. All right, so it measures Forty exactly, and actually, yep, right, exactly. It is true to size, exactly forty by fifty five for the drill field, and this is called. Frida and the Watermelon. The title's right there, which I should have uh, stated earlier. Frida and the Watermelon. So next I want to do is check to see if there's any symbols that might trip me up or whatever. Um, there's a lot of, there are no numbers. No, I'm sorry, I lied. There's one. But some of them, I have no idea what they are like as far as on the little legend i can see in the canvas but they're kind of um weird to me i mean it could just be my eyes but i'm sure once i have a light pad on it i'll be able to figure it out but the on the actual drill field itself is really clear so let's flip this over and look at our drills so right off the bat, these are pre-bagged. So I'm excited. I am kind of bummed there is no inventory sheet. I mean, it's not a must have or anything, but at least I have my little picture for my log or my end of the, when I de, uh, de kit and everything. I'm, so it says free to and, so you'll know what kit it's for. I tend to keep mine myself, keep mine all together. And each bag has Frida and on there. Levi is power prancing right now. If you guys hear his nails, because he wants a you know what. He's trying to get my attention. You need to wait. You need to wait. He's staring at me. Sorry for the crinkling. I happen to love the crinkling. Now he's going to start to protest, but he's going to have to wait. So... Rounds, you don't tend to have too much trash. Um, and it's got the little sticker on there. So I'm going to assume this is number 21 on the legend. And then it has the DMC code on there. We have really pretty bright colors. Oh, these two are trying to escape. Let me put them back in the bag. They're right at the top. They'll go right back in. Here's another color right here. So the drills look really, really good. And I have never heard anyone that has worked on one not having good drills. But I am not going to take these out all the way because well, now they're both in here. Now they're both in here. So here, we'll just, we have some flesh colors. We've got brights, uh, turquoise and pinks and corals. We have some green in there. You two are going to cut it out. Cut it out. You need to wait. Sorry. They're literally like children because they want a snack. Who can relate? Drop me a comment. So here you guys can see some more of the colors. I really need to work on this soon. This is like a perfect one for summer. And I really love... Really, really love these the background and her earrings too. She's just so cute. And another reason is because I do have a print of Curtis of Frida. And I do have some diamond paintings of Frida. And I'm just going to like really enjoy just seeing the different uh, drawings and interpretations of how these artists um, envision Frida and how they represent and respect her and pay homage by making these amazing portraits of her because she was amazing 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 woman so like i said head on over to jazz's website which i will link below check it out she's got mermaids she has you know 
a few on there. I think like seven maybe. I could be wrong. Um, but she has a couple, like at least two pages that you can pick from on top of her amazing art. So, yeah. If you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to drop them below and let me know what you think. All right, I will talk to you later. I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. Stay cool and be kind. Bye.